Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great evening. The Dallas Cowboys did what they were supposed to do to an inferior team. They stomped on them, and they got out pretty much unscathed. Um, Jordan Lewis did go down late in the game but the cowboys definitely did some work it felt like they were doing 12 seven on seven and just trying and working out some good things and so on but this video is actually not about the cowboys this is actually about the giants now understand the haters out there gonna say well you know you're only doing that to bad teams well you know what the cowboys are kicking ass at home i can't wait to play the eagles at home and hope that maybe you know maybe the eagles stumble up and give us a shot that's all I'm asking for, because clearly the Cowboys are a better team at home than they are on the road. But this is not about the Cowboys right now. I have to talk about how the Cowboys have taken the fight out of the Giants fans. They have literally taken the manhood from the Giants. I have to I just have to show you how bad it is. You have to listen to their coach tonight. This is literally how bad it was. Well, I'll start off by saying this. Do not blame that game on the defense, okay? I don't care who you play, whether it's a high school team, a junior college team, a college team, much less an NFL team. When you turn the ball over five times, oh, four interceptions, you? one for a touchdown, three others in field position to set up touchdowns, you ain't going to beat anybody I just told oh, about. Oh, I got the anybody. wrong one, didn't I? All right. And that was a disgraceful performance, in my opinion. We threw that game. We gave it away by doing that. We gave them the friggin' game. I'm sorry. In my opinion, that sucked. <laughs> uh, you know, you can't turn the ball over five times like that. Holy crap. I don't know who the hell we think when we are. I, we I'm sorry. I got the wrong clip. But forget, forget the coach. Forget the coach. Let's go to Bad Dog. And Bad Dog, who is always bringing it to you like a man what's going on everybody it is your boy bad dog here with another new york giants post game as always guys girls what, thank what, you so much for watching what, is, the video is that bad dog really do is appreciate it make sure you hit the thumbs up that helps out oh, the video huge. Man. hit the subscribe button ring a ding ding the bell because we have plenty of giants <laughs> content for the next two months uh, <laughs> two months too long Oh, Hit the man. thumbs up, subscribe, share it out with the Giants, friend. The Giants played a really good game today. They battled vehemently, and they lost 49-17. to 17. Mm. Um, Please excuse the audio portion. If it's a little muffled, as you can see, we've brought out the, <laughs> the, bags, uh, no. the helmet. Just, I mean, what do you even say at this point, guys and girls? I mean, we knew that going into this game... The Giants are going to have absolutely nothing for Dallas. Mm -hmm. Offensively, we knew that we didn't have any chance with Tommy DeVito out there. I mean, our offensive line stinks. Um, the receivers, you know, it is what it is. Even when we are healthy, this team was just atrocious. Mm -hmm. Offensively, just absolutely uh, pathetic. Mm -hmm. And uh, we knew they had not, not much of a chance. But the defense did a fantastic job today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolute garbage. <laughs> the defense is <laughs> like giving up. And uh, it's no question about it. Oh, shit. I mean, they gave up over 600 yards. That's 600 incredible. 600 yards to Dallas. And this is with their backups playing in the fourth quarter. I mean, Cooper Rush was out there throwing the ball around like he was a starter. <laughs> I, I don't know what Michael Gallup ended up with, but my God, Brandon Cook said almost 200 yards receiving. CeeDee Lamb was over 100 yards receiving. I mean, Michael Gallup had to be close. Embarrassing. Like, the defense just quit. And absolutely quit. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I am not going to sit here and be an advocate of firing coaches and firing coaches and firing GMs every two years because this is why we're in the situation we're in because the only consistent thing here has been inconsistency. But when you look at the way this team has played, I don't blame fans for wanting coaches to be fired and everything else. I can't blame them. The defense is pathetic. You see this team cracking. You saw Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton get into it on the sidelines. <laughs> I don't know what this is about, but this is a bad look for the Giants. It's bad enough getting your ass kicked week in and week out. It's bad enough the injuries. It's bad enough okay. the embarrassment. All right, so I get it. 
But when your team, when you start to lose. Okay, we're going to stop him right there. Okay, this is the milder one. I have to give you this one. Okay, mind you. Okay, put the kitties to bed on this one. Th- this this is pretty bad. Sit down and shut up. Put your towels on your heads the way ladies do when they come out of the shower. Go on, do it. Good. <coughs> You're in here naked with lady towel heads because I want you to be in here the way you came into this world. Naked and gross and crying like little itty bitty babies. You don't deserve to come in here showered and with clothes on. Damn. Now sit there with your big hairy sweaty ass <laughs> stuck in the chair. This is crazy. Now everyone, check to make sure you still have your nuts. Go ahead. Go Damn. Like that and hold your nuts and make sure you have your balls because that Dallas team took away your dignity and your manhood today. I just want to make sure they didn't oh, get your fucking nuts too. Oh, Everybody, shit. have their nuts? Good. Oh, wow. My God. My God, that was just horrible. I'll tell you what. Oh, my God. You're not pimping high-class tukey, that's for sure. <sighs> You're pimping toothless elderly salmons and dresses with too much makeup and oh, cheap man. high heels. If this team was a grocery store, all the food would be past the expiration date. If this team was a car, you'd have four flat tires. If this team was a male <laughs> prostitute, oh, you'd my have God. reptile dysfunction and bite no. on your nuts. <sighs> oh, no. 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 The first half. Was very telling. DeVito passed for 24 yards. Saquon had seven carries for, for one yard. yard. Our best play was when we took a knee. <laughs> In the first half, Dallas had oh. 368 total yards, and we had 28 yards. You think Dallas has your number? They beat you 89 to 10 this year. That's not having your number. That's having. All your mothers pole dancing at their private parties. Well. I have no fucking words, gentlemen. No fucking words. Offense. All of you. We don't have an offense anymore. Offensive line? You're definitely offensive. That's for sure. You're 1,700 pounds of corned beef. Oh, and a my Lord. Pie. We are incapable of having an NFL offense. We can't run patterns. We can't block. We can't throw. Ooh. We can't run. We do not have an offense! I'm going to leave it right there because it gets to be a little bit raw when he starts talking about the brown eyes. But clearly, the Dallas Cowboys took the Eagle, excuse me, the Giants' manhood. That, that was just sad. I'm sorry. I, I, I honestly feel bad for my buddy Rashid, who literally was passed out with a Cowboys blanket on. What? Why do we get a wide receiver? Why do we get a wide receiver? That's it. That's all. Good night, Giants fans. You got the draft to look forward to. I'm Mark Holmes.